up off of what Soon was doing, but wasn't the case here. Soon still has a pulse bomb ready to go. He's sneaking up top, Joshi. Look at him right now. He's looking for the opportunity. <laughs> pulse bomb goes in there. He's sticked it. Oh, oh my goodness. So that they could secure this fight right here. That's definitely going to be in their favor as they're going to be running through that little staircase where I just don't, I don't see how you're going to. No, Soon with the pulse bomb shuts him down. Run line soon comes in with the sticky oh. magic. I think that was absolutely the correct choice. Here comes soon. Oh, and again, false bomb. What fantastic. This is painful. <laughs> Getting a second kill onto Miso as well. And picking off B for the sake of it. That is another team. What? Barrier from both sides, Soli, or Selly, excuse me, coming out here with the whole hog. Dragon Blade, though, from Nico. Does he find anything? A lot of damage. The Transcendent keeps him alive. They're picked up, too. He's slicing and dicing here. He's going to be able to more than likely finish off Zephyr. Yes, he gets it with the deflect, and that's a clean uh, wipe coming through there for Rogue. Pain is high energy so that he can get that Graviton Surge up. Again, though, going up against the dive. I think this map definitely favors the Zarya pick a little bit more as you can typically find those clusters against the dive even more so than the night market unless you do see people just going through doorways. I can blade out though from Nico. It's gonna be with the transcendence. Unko just doing a terrific job with these transcendences. It's been keeping Nico alive even when he's had to go up against the whole and the hog was just not getting it done compared to uh, the rest of the rogue just powering through him. So here comes the Dragon Blade from Nico. Early cut down on time who gives them a great advantage. And there's Mickey chips also falling. Nico with a triple kill when all is said and done. Well, we went back to watch points you brought. Winston, there's the tag visor we mentioned, and he's shooting freely from the high level there. EMP is going to go out as well and just reduces all the defenses of CLG's attackers. AKM just mass killing things as four killing blows just for this bout. And with kind of no options for Envious, they're not going to be able to really do anything. They have Mickey actually swapping over, so he will be able to contest oh. the high ground. Might be able to take out AKM, but soon already finds they force out a transcendence. I think that's even bigger for him. There's attack buzzer up top. AKM picks up one kill. Looking for another here. Does he get it? Yes, Wolf. Gonna be taken down. Looking for God. They pick up Selly. Primal Rage forced out from God. It's him against the world along with Adam. Adam able to find a kill for himself. Not gonna amount to too much. Sure, for just sneak up on Nico like that. He was just sitting there. He finds an early pick for himself, but Selly gonna be taken down by the flank here from uh, soon. But they get the split mid fight, so it will be in favor of Rogue. Or excuse me, Cloud9 to hold on to this as long as they possibly can, even if they are starting to lose the fight here. Wolf gonna be taken down here. Still God's under a lot of pressure. Sure, for taken down. They cannot find a way to put uh, to deal with soon. But I don't think they're gonna be able to force anyone back. Even with Primal Rage engaged, it looks like Rogue are holding their ground. Nox has a Primal Rage of his own, smacking up the back line of CLG. There's the Nanovisor from AKM, finally destroying a Miso suit and... Suit and himself. And it's gonna be Rogue hanging on again. Excellent Helix Rocket there for AKM to take out Waffle Test.